Today we are in the vivarium to see how they use science to care for their animals. Here we are in the vivarium. This is where the museum keeps their reptiles and amphibians. To find out what the frog's like, you have to observe the natural habitat in the wild. How long did it take to like, find the dolphin and write the time? All the different types? Well, it's, well, I've been working for the museum for over 20 years and I've been focusing on getting different frogs and conserving them. Um, when, we, when, we, when I first started, we only had one frog in the, in the museum. Variables we have to think about include temperature, light and humidity. Temperature is vital thing because it's if it because it could kill them by if it's too cold or too hot. If there's no humidity, they could die of fires. Most of the tadpoles and the eggs die in the wild. and We can collect those and we can bring them back. We've got a really good success rate at raising them through. And it's a lot better, I think, to get the legs and tadpoles and get them used to being in captivity rather than take anything out of the wild. And these are very, very tame because they're used to, to being handled. We did an experiment to see if the tadpoles like the light or dark better. So if we put this light on top of here... The dark side could be shaded because of the cardboard blocks out the lightness. So that side's more lighter so that could have a different temperature. We tried to keep everything the same except from the light and the dark. It was a little bit tricky keeping the temperature the same. Now there's going to be a really subtle difference in the temperature of the water because of the heat coming off this light. We will use more than one tadpole just to make sure the experiment worked. The tadpoles were in the dark while they were light. And they're called leaf frogs because they like to sleep on the leaves like this, can you see? But when they open up and they jump, hands out and the legs out, they can stick to anything that they land on. <laughs> can anybody guess what it uses its webs for? Fly. To fly, yeah. This one actually, when he jumps, he, he can actually open his webs and glide. We hope you have enjoyed our visit behind the scenes in the vivarium. We think frogs are fun, Dabby Dozy!